Well, are we rolling? We're rolling. Hi, I'm Ron. It's not my lunch break. It's the end of the day, and uh, I had a thought come back to me about my uh, New Age Buddhist days when uh, me and my next door neighbor, she's New Age and tarot card reading and psychic and yoga and all that. Uh, this is happened maybe 30 years ago, and maybe a little longer. And she's still doing it out there in Sedona, Arizona. And uh, I want her to know Jesus, because I'll tell you why here late, shortly. I think she'll know him. So uh, one day, me and Carrie had this. Oh, let me move the microphone here. How's that? Uh, me and Carrie had the bright idea to make a Ouija board out of napkins and letters and. Uh, kind of set it up like a Ouija board on a smooth table and then we used a shot glass empty shot glass upside down and like hey let's do the Ouija board thing and at first you know I'm thinking I'm oh, just hanging out with my friend having fun is no big deal and uh, then I got a now mind you I'd never really been around anything spiritual at this time I was trying nothing much was going on and then I got this kind of uneasy feeling uh, not too strong but the shot glass started moving and I'm thinking well Carrie's she's just pushing this glass around and I forget what questions that we were saying or what it was saying but it was moving it was like trucking along and uh, then I started to feel kind of uncomfortable and we were talking to it a little bit and then we just stopped. And then at the moment we stopped, I look looking back on it now, I understand what it was. We both felt our conscience, conscience, however you pronounce it, conscience. Both of our conscience seemed unclean, uh, like something we got slimed. Something uh, we both intuitively, I'm glad to say, didn't like it. Though it was supernatural, because I go, did you do that? She goes, I didn't do that. Did you? I thought you did. And we, and we both looked at each other and go, we should never do that again. It was like, Carrie, she's like a sister. is like kissing your sister. Like, it was just, that was the spirit. It was unclean. And that's the residue it left in us. Now we shook it off and we're still friends. But we don't be doing that no more. And looking back on it now, once I met Jesus, his spirit is pure, it's loving, it's clean, and it boots out all that kind of junk. So if you ever feel something like supernatural and it leaves you feeling unclean, that's a demon. So uh, I suggest you don't play with those guys because they want nothing but your hurt and uh, go towards Jesus because he is the one and only living spirit and um, it's Jesus is all inclusive in that everybody's welcome however he is very exclusive in that he says he is the only one of his kind and that everyone else is a fake and an imitator so uh, not hating people but I am definitely judging other spirits and pretty much I'm saying all other spirits behind Jesus or on his crew you ain't cool so the cool thing is with Jesus you don't need a Ouija board to communicate with him he will actually communicate with you in your mind and your heart and he will talk with you he will um, I think the word is sanctified that's to set apart you can he will use your imagination but in a set apart sanctified clean way and you'll have conversations with them in your mind and in your heart. And you won't need pens and papers and making Ouija boards and upside down shot glasses or any kind of Ouija board or any kind of tarot card or any kind of crystal or any medium. Uh, people are looking to encounter God. And that's in all our natures. That's in everybody's nature. It's just what is who is the real God 
and that's the, that's what everyone's up to uh, arguing about. You can't really argue faith. It is received. And uh, so I can't really make my point other than ask Jesus who he is and ask his spirit to show up because he will show up to people who don't yet believe in him but want to know about him. It happened to me before I gave my heart to Jesus. He showed up and it was a, it was loving. It was a blast. And um, ask these other spirits who Jesus is. They'll always say he is one of many ascended masters or many ways. And if you go, Jesus is Lord, they'll be like, nope. Whereas with Jesus, he's like, I am the truth, the life, and the way. Nobody comes to the Father except through him. But once mm -hmm. you do get to the Father, the Father is love and you will feel his encounter there it is fear the reverential they say fear the lord fear the lord is clean it's not like fear of a beating it's more like oh my gosh you are so awesome not that i'm a worm it's just that i now know you made me and it is respect and and then his love lets you know it's i re i love you and you love me and that's when that makes the difference with all the other spirits. There might be there might be moments of love because I've heard that in other YouTube videos where this girl took uh, ayahuasca or something like that, and she she felt once she obeyed this spirit some love. And so, if you obey a demon, it will love you for an amount of time, but it will always it won't be like Jesus. It's it's not going to be his love that's eternal, that is clean and pure, that's going to have a catch. And I guess if I was listening to this conversation, I could punch holes in it. Um, because, you know, if the other side, not Jesus, is loving, then what's the difference? Well, there are different kinds of love. There's love, love of the flesh, lust. Love, lust of, you know, lust of the eye, lust of the flesh, pride of life. And in the Bible, it says demons will love each other. They'll love their own, but they will not love Jesus or the people of Jesus. And that the people of Jesus, we should be recognized by our love for one another. And with the love of Jesus, it, it, you are able to love your enemy, you to love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and to love your enemy as yourself. And to know that anyone and everyone can be accepted into Jesus, can be changed, can be reconciled, can be healed. I don't see that in other religions. I was Buddhist. I was New Age. You can have power, but the real transformation that is permanent and that is joy-filled, and that is satisfying. I ain't seen it nowhere else. So that's my uh, story about Ouija boards. And uh, if you have gotten caught up in them, and then you got rid of them, and some of the demonic entities are still hanging around, you just tell them to go in Jesus' name, and they'll split. So... And then on the flip side, if you want what I'm talking about, if you want, I'm like, if you're saying, well, who is this Jesus and how do I get him? Well, you can order your Jesus today by believing in your heart that he was born of a virgin, Mary, uh, lived a sinless life, was crucified under Pontius Pilate, done got dead for three days, and then was risen from the grave on the third day uh, conquering death, hell, and the grave forever for himself and for anyone who calls on his name. So you believe in your heart, confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. And that's to salvation. Then you walk it out. And uh, there's more videos about salvation, but that's a quick start. So he went from Ouija boards to unclean spirits to salvation. That's the nature of my videos. So it's Thursday and I'm running here about it. Nine, ten minutes, and I'm about to say goodbye. So with that, I'll say sub like Jesus, subscribe to him, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.